Yeah, Steve, we have dug through this NTSB report. This exhaustive report takes us back to that day last July. You see the date here, July 29, 2022, but we are no closer to finding an answer as to what happened to Charles Crooks. Emergency, we've, uh, we've lost our right wheel. We'd like to proceed to Raleigh and make a landing at Raleigh. We watched that landing happen last July and listen to the calls from a distressed pilot to air traffic control ourselves. How do you intend to land at Raleigh Durham? We get as slow as we can and I guess we're going to put it on the belly. Tonight, the National Transportation Safety Board said they know what caused the accident. The airplanes encounter with wind shear during a hard landing and separation of the right main landing gear. But we still don't know if the co-pilot, 23-year-old Charles Hugh Crooks, jumped or accidentally fell out of that plane down into a Fuquay Varina neighborhood. I got it. Uh, they say though we were attempting to land, we made contact with the ground, had a hard landing, and decided to go around. And at that point, we lost the wheel. In July of last year, two pilots were doing skydiving runs in the airplane and heading back to an airport in Rayford. Crooks and the other pilot had successfully finished two runs and were going back for a third when the plane was damaged. The pilot in command said Crooks was flying the approach into Rayford when the plane dropped and the right main landing gear hit the runway surface. Investigators today said Crooks was visibly upset about that hard landing there. An emergency landing was called then for RDU. And at some point on the way back, either Crooks jumped or accidentally fell out. This report also notes that Crooks had what's called kratom in his in his uh, toxicology report in his system. It's an herbal substance used to treat anxiety. It may have contributed to his nauseousness, nauseousness, according to NTSB investigators, but they can't say, say whether that factored into this accident. We also hear Steve and Bianca from the victim's father in this report. It says that the victim was very tough on himself and he might have been physically sick because of the loss of the landing gear with the chief pilot. Hopefully uh, we'll be able to talk to Crooks' family at some point soon and get some more answers as to what happened here. Back to you guys.